Good morning, hot room yogis. Okay, so today we have standing forehead to knee. This is one of my favorite postures, favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, probably one of the postures that I had to work the hardest for, so I think I have appreciation for it. Um, it starts with this foundational kind of principle of uh, what we call in Bikram Yoga, the locking of the knee. So really all that means is a distribution of the weight forward into the ball of the foot with the contraction of the quadricep muscles. We're not putting any pressure on the back of the knee joint. We're using the front side quadricep, keeping that nice and tight, weight into the ball of the foot. And then from there, we start to build and layer on the posture. Really interesting thing to note about this posture is just like really with all the other Bikram postures, they're all progressional. So there are multiple steps and we sort of progress through the stages of the posture um, once we've sort of mastered um, the step before. So for right now, I'm gonna focus on um, step one, which is that uh, locking of the knee and then the front side rounding, front side compression, back side extension of the spine. Um, combining all of those elements to create kind of step one foundation and then from there we go to step two, three, and four and we kick elbows and then we tuck chin to the chest for the fourth um, uh, component. So anyways, let's take a look. We'll do it from the side view of uh, locking of the knee, front side compression, back side extension of the spine. So from the side view, um, it's really kind of great to see weight is into the ball of the foot and the quad lifts up and engages. And then we bring the opposite leg up, back of the five parallel to the floor. So 90 degree angle back side of the knee. Flex the toes of the right foot back towards the face. All the while the weight is into the ball of the left foot. And we continue to lift up on the quadricep. This is a lot. Hips level, spine straight, shoulders over hips. So we're stretching and from the low spine, we would round, compress the front side abdomen and bring the upper body to the grip. So now we're still on the ball of the foot. Elbows are straight. You're looking forward. Belly is tight. Still weight into the ball of the foot. And we hold in this step one for about 60 seconds per step. Right? Eyes forward. Continue to come back to abdomen. Pull in. You flexing toes to the right foot back towards the face. So step one. There's a lot happening in step one. Took me a couple of years to master kind of step one. Um, and then step two, three, four, I'll go ahead and do the full sequence so you can see it, kind of know what you're working towards, but know that there's no rush. You have all the time in the world. So step one. Two. Three. Head up, elbow straight, right leg comes down. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Stand boat pulling poses up next. Stay safe.